The long-awaited 2024 Lexus LBX is finally here. This is the first Lexus that is smaller than the rest and customized for those who want luxury on a budget. We all know that Lexus is all about luxury, and when they announced that they were releasing a small SUV, everybody was excited. Before the Lexus LBX, cars like the Toyota Yaris Cross and the Peugeot 2008 dominated this side of the automotive industry. But now, it's completely changing. With the introduction of the 2024 Lexus LBX, these two cars are going to have to up their game if they want to stay at the top. But does that mean that the 2024 Lexus LBX is better than its competitors? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll compare the 2024 Lexus LBX to its competitors to find out if it's better than them. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out if the 2024 Lexus LBX is better than its competitors. The all-new 2024 Lexus LBX is finally here, and it is the smallest offering yet from the automaker. But the interesting thing is that, even if it is the smallest version of the Lexus, it still comes with all the luxury that Lexus is known for. This is like Lexus's take on the Toyota Yaris Cross, which means that the Yaris Cross might just be its greatest competitor. The 2024 LBX will come with a departure from the familiar styling language that comes with most Lexus models. Starting at the front, the traditional spindle grille has undergone an evolution, transforming it to a central intake with a honeycomb pattern that seamlessly blends into the bodywork. There are some aggressive LED headlights, which are positioned at the edges of the short bonnet and are connected by a sleek trim piece. This just enhances the vehicle's aesthetics, making it look much better. There's a sporty appeal to it, which has been enhanced by the lower bumper intakes. The profile has adopted some simple surfacing and discreet plastic cladding around the wheel arches, while the shiny black trim piece on the C-pillar looks like it's just an extension of the greenhouse. When you look at the rear, the standout feature is the full LED taillights that are inspired by sunglasses. This accentuates the pronounced rear shoulders. There are also some chrome accents around the faux bumper outlets, a rear spoiler, and no visible exhaust pipe. The 2024 Toyota Yaris Cross has not made that much of a difference in its design compared to its predecessor. The only addition that the automaker has made is adding a new Juniper Blue color option to the palette. The top tier Premier Edition trim is the one that will stand out with its exclusive urban khaki hue, which will be complemented by matching interior accents and a fresh set of 18-inch alloy wheels. When you compare the design of the 2024 Yaris Cross with that of the 2024 Lexus LBX, the Lexus definitely looks way better. The 2024 Peugeot 2008 is expected to come with a larger body-colored grille at the front, which will be similar to those found on the Peugeot 308, 4008, and 508. Other changes at the front will include revised LED headlights with triple DRL fangs on the bumper, potentially with a more aggressive-looking lower intake. The profile will be similar to the current Peugeot 2008, with fresh options for the alloy wheels and a different trim piece on the D-pillar. The rear is expected to have mild visual updates that are focused on the LED taillight graphics. One of the best-selling points for Lexus has always been the interior. They're known to have upscale interiors that are filled with all sorts of tech. And for the Lexus LBX, it's no different. It features an incline center console, ambient lighting, and even offers some premium upholstery options such as semi-aligned leather, ultra suede, and vegan-friendly materials. On the cockpit, there's a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, a head-up display, and a 9.8-inch touchscreen for the Lexus Link Connect infotainment system. This system is compatible with over-the-air updates, wireless Apple CarPlay, and wired Android Auto connectivity. For the 2024 Yaris Cross, the standout feature is the upgraded technology that brings it in line with competitors. Depending on the trim level you choose, you can either get a 7-inch or a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, along with a 9-inch or 10.4-inch infotainment touchscreen. The Toyota Smart Connect multimedia system has also received some enhancements, and it now supports over-the-air updates and wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity. As for the 2024 Peugeot 2008, all versions will come with a 10-inch touchscreen, as opposed to the pre-facelift model, where the first two trims came with a smaller 7-inch display. When you step up to the Allure or GT, you can get a newly designed 10-inch digital instrument cluster, which on the GT also adds a 3D effect to it. But when you settle for the base active and the small crossover, you'll get the once traditional analog dials. When you compare this to the Lexus LBX, the Lexus offers a somewhat modern and classy interior, which is not the same case for the Peugeot and the Yaris Cross. 
And now we look at the moment of truth. The powertrain is one of the defining factors in who stays at the top. And so far, the Lexus LDX has been taking the lead. But will this be the same for the powertrain? The all new Lexus LDX is built on the GAB architecture, which has been adjusted to meet Lexus's requirements. With this, it's been exclusively offered with a self-charging hybrid powertrain. Under the hood of the Lexus LBX is a three-cylinder, one-and-a-half-liter petrol engine that is either combined with two or three electric motors. These are two motors for the front-wheel drive model, while the three motors are for the E4 all-wheel drive model. Furthermore, the engine will also be paired with an electronic CVT and an NIMH battery pack. This engine will be capable of giving the Lexus LBX about 134 horsepower and 185 Nm of torque. Even the acceleration is on point, as it can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.2 seconds. This engine is more powerful than the new powertrain option that comes with the 2024 Yaris Cross. The Yaris Cross comes with a hybrid 130 engine that pairs a naturally aspirated 1.5 liter engine with a more potent electric motor. This is capable of giving it about 130 horsepower and 185 Nm of torque. With all this power, the Yaris Cross can move from 0 to 100 km per hour in 10.7 seconds. This may be an improvement of 0.4 seconds, but it's still no match for the Lexus LBX. The Yaris Cross also comes with the less potent hybrid 115 option, which produces 114 horsepower and 141 Nm of torque. According to Toyota, the number one deciding factor for those buying the Yaris Cross is the self-charging hybrid technology. This is the reason they're no longer offering ICE-only versions of the BSUV in Europe. But even with that, the Lexus LBX is still ahead of it. The Peugeot 2008 is based on the CMP architecture, which is the same one on other Stellantis subcompact SUVs. With this facelift, the automaker might introduce the mild hybrid 1.2-liter PureTech engine from the 3008 and 5008 SUVs. This is only available in two power outputs, which are 99 horsepower and 134 horsepower. These two offer 15% lower fuel consumption. The single electric motor is integrated with a new six-speed dual clutch transmission that produces about 28 horsepower and 55 Nm of torque. All this power comes from an 898 watt hour battery, which is 432 watt hour usable. There's a great possibility that the 2008 will offer a higher powered version of the non-electrified 1.2 liter three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that produces about 134 horsepower and 230 Nm of torque. But at the moment, we're not so sure which one to expect. Of the three cars, the 2024 Lexus LBX takes the reins. It has some pretty amazing features that just make it stand out among them all. And one thing that we can all agree on is that it definitely has better luxury and premium technology. Even the driving experience is way better than its competitors, putting it at the top. But to know how it really is, we're going to wait until next year, when it starts hitting the market. Do you think the 2024 Lexus LBX is better than its competitors? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.